what is up you all it is king Brittany chanel and you are back on my say Brittany chanel channel so in today's video i'm going to be giving you guys a glimpse of my living room makeover or really my studio makeover so if you all have been following this channel i've showed this room before but i'm just going to give it a re nice refresh makeover so if you like these sort of home decor and lifestyle videos go ahead and thumbs up the video like comment and subscribe share the video and let's get started have been following my channel you guys know that this particular room or th this office kind of living room is my YouTube studio area now I've been personally feeling for a long time that it kind of had like you know a earlier kind of look it kind of was very kind of young and I kind of wanted to update the space with a more adult look I mean, it had the glam chandelier. I've added a new up-to-date chandelier here that had, you know, still the glam touch. I've added some um, nice dangles, but it's definitely a more, I feel like an appropriate adult look for the space. So I'm kind of showing you guys things that I've added. Let's talk about what we've added here the main point of the room you can see that i updated this wall we've talked about in prior videos about accent walls how they can you know really make a wall stand out and in the middle the focus is that beautiful golden pretzel mirror over there i love that mirror and i updated the lights from the glam lamps to black lamps but i also spray painted those those were like a white color before and I kind of showed you guys those lamps in another video, but how beautiful is the new Shandy that I put in this space, you guys. In here I had like, you know, that glam, super glam <laughs> chandelier in here. And I just totally had to get that out. I wanted a more restoration hardware pottery barn look for my home. And I still have like my gallery wall effect. I just limited the pictures you know, took the pictures out from the gallery style to, you know, just those few. And also, you guys, I did redo this bookshelf, but the bottom shelf, just don't really pay attention to that. I'm going to put some new items on that. So we're still working on that. The couch, you know, y'all remember I had the beautiful kind of mauve and coppery pillows. I kind of wanted to, you know, make it, you know, a little bit more of a statement. So I changed it to, you know, leather, faux leather and white and black. Over here on my chairs, I still kept my same chairs, but I've updated them with these beautiful Rachel Zoe throws. It's kind of giving like a boucle effect. And then let me show you guys this accent wall up close. Man, does the accent wall really make a statement piece in your home like this i feel like this wall was already beautiful with the color that it was but the accent wall just really made it pop and you guys may see that i have my little plate off of um the vent there i am you know working on that to spray paint it black but i also want to show you guys this statement piece um this table that I had. I had it in the, the space in front of the window before, but I decided to cut the bottom of the table out and put these baskets here. This is also cute if you want to put ottomans that you want to store there. So um, I'm working with this currently um, and I like how it looks so far to have, you know, the storage of the extra baskets and, you know, things like throws. But overall, I'm liking the way that the room is going right now. I really feel like the effects of it is going in a more um, adult look, you know, where I am now in life. Not to say that my other studio set wasn't cute before, but, you know, I feel like as you design, you should have style elevation. You should see like the changes in your home decor. And I think a part of that, you all, is that's how you know that you're a true designer when your style, you can see over time, it elevates, right? 
So I also wanted to talk about, look at the beautiful statement piece of this new glass table. If you guys didn't know, I had a kind of more of a rustic table in here before. And the newer table is just more, I feel like, fitting for the space. It still has elements that are kind of glam elements, but it's kind of toned down. And I also on the table have, you know, I put my beautiful little candle holders that are definitely RH Pottery Barn inspired. Y'all know I'm all about that. Um, but I also like how I used a lot of things that I had. And then there are some things that are new that I've added to the space. I'm still waiting for a few more things to come in to add to the space. But I feel like that's what I like about designing. Over time, you know, you kind of figure out how to elevate what works for you. You know, is it Chosky overload? Like even with my bookcase, I felt like my bookcase before, it was beautiful, but I felt like it was doing a lot. But at the time, I liked that at the time. But my style elevation now is... Yeah, so at this point of my design style, I'm not really more... um so into the Chosky overload um and that's why like if you guys see the other video where I did my first bookcase decoration it was like Chosky overload and I'm like at a place now you guys tell me if you've been through that in the comment section where you just you know you like what you like but you don't want Chosky overload that's where I am now you know I'm about using things that I have and if it doesn't have any use I got to get rid of it but Overall, I feel like with the updates to the space, it's still, it has the same effect of what I wanted to go for. Like my same color scheme with, you know, the color of the wall, the mauves, the golds, and things like that. And it's giving, you know, the glam elements too, as far as the new Shandy, but not in the, the way that it was, you know? Like the other chandelier that I had was very glam this one is also now like a RH kind of, it's a luxury form of glam instead of like a, you know, a gaudy form of glam. And I've added the elements of the dangles from my other shandy, which I'm going to put in another space. But also I wanted to create, like I said, I like to create a lot of hygge moments, like coziness in my house. So that's why you guys see a lot of the throws and things where you could just cozy up wherever you are. And I feel like this is going to really make my workspace, you know, or my girl cave a real kind of pleasant place to be for me to, you know, study, read, work on things as far as like content for the channels and different things like that. And just really be able to elevate, you know, my content and things in style. You guys, let me know in the comment section below. Do you like the updates that I've made to this space? Um, and definitely I will be updating you guys, you know, on the channel with other home decor renovation projects because we have so much in the works. So if you like these sort of videos, definitely subscribe and check out my home decor playlist so that you don't miss out on the updates and things that I'm doing to my home. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely tell me what was your favorite part of the updates to this living room or my girl cave studio space. Leave a comment below and I will see you soon on the next video. Thanks so much for watching.